The truly deviant nature of dolphins. The following video contains topics that may be considered disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Ooh, spooky season. It's been a long time coming. Oh. It's been three years since my last dolphin video, which means three Halloweens have gone by with this aquatic thug wiener going unchecked. Not what? this time. This satanic smiling sausage, Davy Jones delinquent offspring, this audacious ocean hippo, ho oh, oh, ho, we'll get to that. Ocean hippo? I've heard about those hippos. I heard they're truly evil. I've heard they, they are not as nice as y'all think. The dolphin is a breathing, breaching hate boner and their psychopathic tendencies come from their intelligence. What? Dolphins are arguably the smartest things alive without thumbs or launch codes, which allows them to manipulate the world around them, including the animals in it. Dolphins will reportedly harass pufferfish into releasing poison, which apparently they get obliterated off of. Wait, they get high off of pufferfish poison? Let me say that again to make sure I'm not tripping. They get high off of pufferfish poison. What the actual f <laughs> Yo, I mean, when you out there in the ocean, ain't much you can really do, so I'm not really that mad at it. <laughs> It just seems crazy to say. It isn't scientifically proven that dolphins get elevated and hella faded off a spicy stress ball. Hey, this ain't that time to be rapping and rhyming and shit. I'm trying to learn about these ocean demons, these sea demons, all right? You over here spitting bars in the middle of your video. Stop that. We need to take things serious right now. I'm trying to learn. It isn't scientifically proven that dolphins get elevated and hella faded off a spicy stress ball. The alternative is the jots of the sea playing handball with a living puffer, and that's probably the most child-friendly form of dolphin recreation. I'm gonna have to get real creative with the way I describe this, but dolphins will stick their little dolphin dorks wherever they desire. What the f flip? Did I just see a dolphin sex? A woman? Dolphins will stick their little dolphin dorks wherever they desire, including wow. the disembodied heads of decapitated fish. How big do y'all think a dolphin is? Just out of curiosity, I truly don't know how big their penis is. Including the disembodied heads of decapitated fish, which might have just been a one-off. Why Researchers didn't also witness a bottlenose wrap live wriggling eels around their stick shift. We've also witnessed two river dolphins treating an anaconda like a pool noodle, except the photographer took a closer look and noticed something. The snake was likely dead like an reptile dysfunction, which only one of them would know about since both dolphins' privates were standing very much at attention. What? Workers at the Dolphin Research Center also got a nasty surprise when they discovered baby nurse sharks finding their way into the lagoon and the waterlogged hot dogs using them as volleyballs. Dolphins might be the only animals to use other living animals as tools, with a group of dolphins discovering that they could use live sponges as snout guards as they scrape the sea floor. It's not proven sponges can feel pain, but it makes no difference to these brine bullies. If a dolphin can use another <laughs> creature as a pawn, it will that's how one dolphin created a whole seagull murder ring just for some extra fish basically kelly the dolphin had an unspoken agreement with her trainer where she'd get rewarded with fish every time she helped clean litter from her tank including expired seagulls so kelly would hide a fish during feeding and then use it to bait seagulls when no one was looking only to what? snatch them drown them and exchange the waterboarded bird for more fish not only that but kelly wait, wait it went out his way to kill birds the dolphin went out his way to murder birds for fish that's kind of smart i'm not gonna lie that is crazy i am truly speechless right now because that is low-key some smart sh hey you got to get what you want by any means possible not only that but kelly taught her daughter the same trick ensuring the seagull side circle goes on at least another generation oh my god another time a dolphin's brain was someone else's downfall was down in the gulf of mexico where biologists stumbled across hundreds of decapitated catfish bobbing around the water. Not only that, the eyes and the fins were still moving and the fish heads made this disturbing grunting sound when brought on the boat. The cause was, catfish have several serrated spines for self-defense and a gang of Gulf bottlenose dolphins apparently realized they could nerf the catfish by surgically beheading them. But so far, we've seen dolphins working harder, not smarter, with seagulls, sponges, and catfish all being collateral damage. Yeah. That doesn't explain dolphins being a jihad to other animals unprovoked. Dolphins in Belize have been attacking and even- Bro, I can't even imagine getting molested by a dolphin. What can you really do in that situation? But like, imagine you go into SeaWorld and you pet a dolphin and it tries to fuck you. That's, that's very traumatizing. I can't lie, bro. Dolphins in Belize have been attacking and even life depriving baby manatees. They've even gone as far as separating manatee calves from their mothers to make an attempt on their life. This is the same animal that finessed its way on an alligator's whitelist, getting folded by a pack of flippers. Dolphins are literally if hippos went the Professor X route, lost their legs, but gained hyper intelligence, which isn't a joke since the closest living relative to whales and dolphins are hippos. But really? The animal that gets it the absolute worst from dolphins 
are the ones that look the most like them. Dolphins have a homicidal obsession with porpoises, with cases of them washing ashore with bite marks and broken bones. Damn. It's like they can't help themselves for real. It doesn't matter what they're doing. Put a porpoise in their presence, and it's like the Powerpuff Girls going Gotham City on a green monkey. In 2016, one lone male bottlenose flatlined at least six porpoises, and the injuries were roughly the same. Why Fatal they got so much beef? Broken bones and lacerated lungs. No one knows for sure why dolphins are purposely committing acts of war, but the best guess involves how dolphins behave with each other. Because if you thought they were better to their own kind, you don't understand the depravity of this malice-fueled middle finger. Dolphins regularly commit the act of infanticide, with males often harassing and separating the mother from her defenseless calf and escorting it off the census. Oh my gosh, they're literally saying f them kids. They realize they are literally shooting their own race in the foot or species, whatever word you want to use, but they're literally killing off their own species with that. You're supposed to be the smartest animal without fingers and launch codes, but that is some dumb sh It's not even just dumb. That's some hating ass sh Bro, there's no reason to do that. They just do it because they can. That's crazy, bro. It's a classic case of deleting the baby to have a shot at the now child-free mother. Plenty of animals oh, like what? and hippos do this. They do no that. Takes baby oh my gosh, they do it. That's worse than having no reason. You could have been a step dolphin, a stepfather and dolphin. I don't, a step dolphin. I don't know the word, but you could have been a stepdad. They said, nah, we don't want no babies. I want to put a baby in you. What, bro? That type of motivation is crazy. There was a case where a mother orca and her adult son worked together to drown a baby killer whale. Also, the son could sensually explore the mother that watched them do it. In 2020 in Mutsu Bay, Japan, researchers witnessed a gang of dolphins pull up on a mother and her calf and begin mauling the baby. What shocked them was suddenly the first group stopped harassing the dolphin calf, only for a second group to show up and go at him even harder. For well over an hour, 23 different dolphins got involved and a newbie dolphin was sent to the gulag after being hit over a hundred times. Hey, and oh my gosh. Know about dolphins, that might have just been business as usual. Dolphin society is like an episode of Oz, and like the show, it all starts with the men. When a male dolphin is young, they'll form a group with two or three others, and these will be the closest bonds these males will ever have, as these alliances can last decades. But it's not just Kumbaya. The main reason for them linking up is these dolphins will kidnap lone females and keep them in custody for weeks, while they mate with her the entire time, consent sold separately. You telling me, wow, they mate with her? They, all three of them, are gang one female dolphin casual is that what you're saying to me harass got a three for one deal what the f what bro they kidnapped a woman dolphin and her for weeks bro we need more people to realize what's going on in the animal kingdom we cannot let dolphins keep getting away with this these dolphin gangs are highly possessive and even have a specific pop sound to tell the female to swim closer and she can get jumped for not complying. The females usually fight back but only escape about 25% of the time. Not only that, but these what? water Weinsteins mate year round, meaning an unlucky female can get tagged by multiple gangs in one trip around the sun. Three dolphins acting as the musketeers of malice are known as a fight. It can happen more than once a year. Bro, imagine you leave one group to get by another group. That's such a crazy life to live. I'm happy I'm a human. I really am. I'm truly happy I was born a man because women in all species have a lot to worry about. I feel for them. It don't matter if you're a human or a dolphin. You're getting I knew better. I knew better. Once it came out of my mouth, it was too late. I couldn't let, I couldn't stop it. <laughs> I couldn't stop it. It was already out the mouth. I, I'm sorry for my outburst. Not only that, but these water Weinsteins mate year round, meaning an unlucky female can get tagged by multiple gangs in one trip around the sun. Three dolphins Damn. acting as the musketeers Wait, of Malice. Wait, in or one trip? Are you telling me? I don't even want to expand on that, bro. I didn't know he said one trip. One trip. That means one gang can pick you up. The next gang can pick you up. They can trade you back and forth. And you're either way, you're getting. Bruh. 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 Three dolphins acting as the musketeers of malice are known as a first order alliance. There's also a second order alliance with additional dolphins doing the dirty work for the group. Work including attacking other pods, stealing their females while protecting their own from equally lust crazed males. Basically, oh. the first order alliance is like a basketball big three with the second order being the role players. Of course, sometimes two second order alliances join forces to create, yeah. A third order alliance. What? Not only does this mean dolphins have the largest non human social network on the planet, they use it to operate like a pack of sea ditties. Penetration. <laughs> Bro, 
Bro, I've never heard that before. If I could find a way to add in Diddy's name into the YouTube title of this video, my life will be complete. I need y'all to understand that this animal is Diddy. It's the Diddy of the ocean and sea. They use it to operate like a pack of sea diddies. <laughs> Penetration without permission is so rampant that female dolphins actually evolve the same equipment as ducks where they're a... Uh, uh, Infogitis. Yeah, those are maze-like to flush out any unwanted baby batter. But the male's response what? was dolphins developing a 12-inch pink prehensile bedroom arm. Speaking of which, male dolphins aren't even safe from each other. They have a 12-inch ca casual. You cannot just say that normally and act like I'm not going to say nothing. They have a foot long. You just said that dolphins have some big on them, bro. This is just getting worse and worse by the second. Imagine getting penetrated by a 12-inch that you didn't want. Damn, bro, that sucks. Speaking of which, male dolphins aren't even safe from each other. Non-allied males assert dominance by biting, jaw clapping, tail slapping, and mounting. The broke back kind. Remember, it's ocean ah! Oz out here. To be fair, that's also how they play, and young male dolphins will actually practice on each other and take turns being the female long before they try it on a- You're gay. What? Bro, what is this video? They're Diddy. These animals are actually Diddy. I thought he was just making a joke at first, but they're really Diddy. You really just told me that dolphins practice being the female dolphin while the other male dolphin is humping him. That's what you just told me. I literally just heard that. And to assert their dominance, they f each other. Man, what the f ah! So how they play and young male dolphins will actually practice on each other and take turns being the female long before they try it on a real one. And there's nothing wrong with that. Except dolphins have a nasty habit of projecting. I'm 99% sure the porpoisides and manatee maimings were because both animals looked like the babies of their own kind. Which mm. is pretty insane logic. Imagine someone on trial for running over the vertically deficient only for their main defense to be that they thought it was a child. Porpoises <laughs> and sea blimps aren't the only ones catching strays. Since 2022, more than 45 people have been attacked while swimming in Fukui, Japan, leaving many with broken bones and bites. Ah. I just believe these attacks were carried out by one male Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin. And it's been said the reason for this one man dolphin demon campaign, horny. Scientists think this dolphin what? is sexually frustrated and lonely and is taking it out on the humans around him. And the scariest part, there's a good chance he's only playing. Because if a nine foot, several hundred pound flesh missile wants you dead, you're simply dying. People say the rogue dolphin will often swim up to people and try to press his pink sword against them. He's playing? This is a crazy way to play. This man is playing with his dick. Imagine you on vacation, you swimming out and a dolphin try to you and he's just playing that, that's bro, <laughs> bro what am i watching bro what am i hearing what am i watching what is going on in this video i've learned a lot of things that i didn't want to know i didn't want to know that dolphins had a 12 inch i didn't want to know that it'd be gang banging in other female dolphins i didn't want to know that and there's still at least seven minutes left in this video what else am i going to learn today dolphin will often swim up to people and try to press his pink sword against them which is actually the same way dolphins in an alliance act so he's really just acting out natural behaviors but on people only to lash out when they don't respond he's not the only one as you know i went to the cayman islands earlier this year and you'd think the most dangerous part would be me getting intimate with a stingray it was actually me swimming in the same waters a stinky stinky ah. was a lone male dolphin infamous for oh. trying to violate divers that meet his eye Your one cooks. victim michael mays recounted how he and his wife were snorkeling and enjoying grand cayman when the menace named stinky showed up michael tried warning his wife before stinky charged her slamming into her repeatedly someone should have warned michael that he was what stinky was after as a dolphin attempted to dork mike in front of his own wife dork and you know dolphins don't discriminate with both jessica alba and demi moore seeing just what happens when a dolphin decides to go on booty warrior timing in in fact, one dolphin's impulses likely ruined a man's life. Alan Cooper was an animal rights activist who also became- Don't tell me nothing bad happened to this guy. He's an animal rights activist. Love animals, probably pet the dolphins all the time. The dolphin fell in love and let me guess, something bad happened to him. <sighs> I'm sorry, Alan. You just picked the wrong animals to give rights to. In fact, one dolphin's impulses likely ruined a man's life. Alan Cooper was an animal rights activist who also became close with a dolphin named Freddy. Not that close. Who he actually met in the wild, but was now living in Flamingo Land. Okay. Except one day, Alan swam with Freddy, and bystanders watched and swore that Alan was getting handsy with the dolphin, and he would end up getting accused of going Rocky Balboa on Little Freddy. Papers called him a dolphin diddler, and it went all the way to court. He violated a dolphin? Oh, nah, no wonder. He's like the deep from the boys. He be trying to f 
animals. Hold on. No wonder he's an animal rights activist. I just don't know what to say anymore, bro. This video has really changed my viewpoints on a lot of things. Um, I'm going to be an animal rights leftivist because this Alan Cooper guy was beating little Freddy's in the water. No wonder he's an animal rights activist. He's trying to f dolphins. I can't even defend, bro. That's the crazy thing. Like, maybe he just believes in making sure his animals are taken care of in every way. I don't think that's it at all. I'm not going to lie. This is weird. Whole time, all that really happened was Freddy got a little too homosexual and wrapped his prehensile trouser tongue around Alan's arm. Even with the case thrown out, Freddy's freak off was a stain that largely derailed Cooper's career and killed almost any chance he'd ever have of being taken seriously. All right, hold on, hold on. So wait, what happened? The dolphin wrapped his dick around Alan's arm, so he had to start punching the dolphin that was around his arm. That can't be right. The dolphin wrapped his around his arm and he had to <laughs> to get the off his arm even with the case thrown out freddy's freak off was a stain that largely derailed cooper's career and killed almost any chance he'd ever have of being taken seriously i apologize for my my accusations alan cooper you are a victim of freddy's horniness and this is why you can't get too close to animals they be trying to fuck you lesson learned bro i'm sorry this happened to you so my question is are you still an animal rights activist because me personally I will be eating dolphin fin soup the next week. I'm just saying, bro, you cost me my job and all I wanted to do is help you? Yeah, I'm eating your whole kind. I'm going to Japan the next week. <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason why legends say that Amazon River dolphins will shapeshift into men at night and impregnate young women before changing back in the morning. Dolphins what? are like the chimps of the sea, but where what? chimp society revolves around violence, dolphin dumb is centered around getting their rocks off. But dolphins can be just as dangerous as any wild animal. Pretty privilege makes you forget it's a hyper-intelligent pack-hunting super predator that could fold you seven ways to Sunday if they wanted. And no what? dolphin showed that more than Chiao. Chiao was a male bottlenose dolphin that showed up in San Sebastian. I'm starting to see a repetition here. I'm starting to see a pattern. I keep hearing you say bottlenose. So those are the ones I got to look out for. Gotcha. Chiao was a male bottlenose dolphin that showed up in San Sebastian in Brazil in the mid 90s, where he was popular for his friendliness around humans, especially women, to the point where mm. he started to see other male humans as a threat. And this time he wasn't playing. By December 1994, Chiao had sent nearly 30 people to the hospital Hospital, including Gosh. one case where he attacked two men, breaking one's ribs and killing the other. Ah. So as you can see, dolphins commit atrocities against the world around them, against humanity as a whole, and even against their own kind. Horrible. But do you know what actually makes them evil? It's not rhetorical. Because there isn't anything I've said about this womb fish that something in nature doesn't also do. Yeah, dolphins wake up feeling like Jordan. So do lions, hippos, and zebras. That's three quarters of the cast in Madagascar. Yeah, dolphins do the unspeakable with fish, but I've seen chimps get downright deplorable with a frog. Chimps will also murk rival children and then turn them into lunch meat. Yeah, oh, dolphins wow. are basically Damn. eternal erections, but... Penguins are so deviant, they traumatized a researcher. First seals have been seen defiling penguins, and speaking of seals, researchers have documented mateless male sea otters breaking baby seals with no approval. The point isn't to pass the buck to someone else's favorite animal, it's that these animals are just trying to survive. Dolphins are just that much better at it. If other animals could, they would. Hell, we can, and we have. Early cavemen yeah. also cannibalized human children, and meal prepping brains was somewhat regular. And before you judge otters and penguins, in 2022, four men were arrested for the crime. What? The assault Hold on, what did that say? Butcher and ate the brains of children as part of everyday diet. How would brain taste, y'all? Like, I know, like, you know what I'm saying? Have y'all ever been curious of like how brain tasted? You know, one person that can answer that question if they were still here, Jeffrey Dahmer. Am I a serial? for saying that sometimes i realize that maybe i shouldn't ask the questions that i ask online and maybe i shouldn't say the things that i say online i truly do not be thinking before i say stuff i just say it and that's part of my problem in real life and online they gonna think you eat brains and you're a serial killer and there's people under your floorboards just you know don't let them know that secret yet in 2022 four men were arrested for the crime of assaulting an endangered monitor lizard and no amount of wordplay will let me talk about what people did to Pony the Orangutan. Just know if I can't speak on it, it must be bad. I mean, if you believe in alternate realities and that art mirrors life, then you also believe that somewhere in the universe, there's a dolphin with a snapback and a tiny mic talking about how humans are the spawn of Satan behind a green screen of this guy. 
Morality is really a social construct, and I think dolphins were just smart enough and just cute enough for us to move the goalposts and judge them by human standards. Yes. Then I think people be trying to correct all the shark slander, which is probably a crazy thing to hear from the same guy that made this. Here's my thing. Everything I said dolphins do in this video is true, at least to my knowledge. But when I'm calling them a sea ditty or a water Weinstein or Satan's nine foot hate boner, we call that a sentence enhancer, especially when I'm calling something a homicidal threat to national security. Kind of a what you say, not how you say it. Am I backpedaling? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I love animals. I don't want you to watch my videos and go drop kick an otter. Or pray chimpanzees go extinct. Or hate dolphins. I don't even hate dolphins for real. There's also the whole overcorrection thing. I feel like there's two ways people see animals. There's a Disney side, the side that told people elephants think we're puppies, and a side that convinced Buddy this was a good idea. And then you got the side that would legitimately sleep better at night if Thanos would have had beef with dolphins. The thing is, both sides can get the animal put on a shirt. Bad PR almost got sharks and wolves wiped out. At the same time, Freya the walrus had to get put down because people literally wouldn't stop getting too close to her. Because the worst thing a wild animal can do is forget its fear of humans. Mm, the that is true. The story I didn't tell you was the part where people kept harassing him, even trying to pour beer and stick ice cream cones down his blowhole. Before. What the f is wrong with people, bruh? See, y'all deserve everything that's about to happen to y'all. Just leave animals alone. It was drunk people, wasn't it? Putting ice cream cones in the fucking blowholes in, like, why? Why? Why would you do that? And pouring beer on the animal, like, bro. I know what type of people did this. It won't my people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, chat. We know damn well that my type of people ain't doing this beer. Yeah, that's why I knew it wasn't us. Even trying to pour beer and stick ice cream cones down his blowhole before he started fighting back. What I think is for wow. decades, people looked at dolphins with Disney glasses and sharks were the monsters and overcompensation has it flipped or really neither animal belongs on either side. Mm. Elephants are my favorite animals and they're probably the best example of this. In 2011, a herd of elephants showed up to their caretaker's home after he died and held their own two day vigil and would return every year on the same day to mourn him. An elephant also traveled over 100 miles to flatline a 70 year old woman only to desecrate her corpse at her funeral. This elephant was yeah. filmed trying to rescue a rhino stuck in a pit before lions could get to him. Elephants were also responsible uh -huh. for running through rhinos like a yellow light. Dolphins aren't evil prison bullies or innocent sea angels. They're just dolphins. But you know, maybe I haven't talked enough about the other, other side of dolphins. Like, you know dolphins have specific names for each other that they'll respond to? They Aww. also recognize each other by urine, so they really got a whole two-factor authentication. Pregnant dolphins will teach the unborn calf its name by singing it constantly, while it's still in the oven. Speaking of babies, uh -huh. newborn dolphins don't sleep for the entire first month of their life, which means neither do their mothers. Dolphins are highly emotional, and just like elephants, they also mourn the dead. One Aww. worker made headlines when she carried her lifeless calf on her nose for 17 days and over a thousand miles. And Aww. with orcas, they're one of the few animals on the planet to go through menopause, and the most likely reason is so elderly orcas can stop worrying about being mothers and instead focus on being grandmothers. That matriarch system is why dolphins, especially orcas, have not just their own cultures, but they even have trends, just like us. For example, in the 80s, one orca was seen carrying a dead salmon on her head for no reason but a fashion statement. And in less than two weeks, the orca influencer had not just her own pod, but two others doing it. Things uh, like that are okay. how orca OGs pass knowledge down. They even have their own way of disciplining children. Sometimes when dolphin calves wander too far, the mother will toss the calf in the air as punishment, repeatedly. You supposed to make me feel like they're good people or they're good animals. You over here talking about how they throwing their kids in the air for punishment. That doesn't help them at all, bro. I look at them as evil beings now. Dolphins are the most evil animals on the planet. The calf in the air is punishment repeatedly for up to 40 minutes straight. But considering wandering off can get the baby canceled by a pack of males, I see where she's coming from. But males aren't even that bad. Dolphins will often have their version of a midwife, a dolphin auntie that assists with birth and helps with the calf. Mm. And sometimes this dolphin auntie is actually a male. And of course you got stories of a dolphins trans? saving people from drowning a and trans sharks. Dolphin? One dolphin went way off script. In 2008, a mother pygmy sperm whale and her son got stranded and rescuers spent more than an hour trying to return them to sea and even considered putting both of them out of their misery. That was until popular bottlenose dolphin Moko appeared and led the trapped whales through a narrow channel back to sea, saving them both. A year later, Moko nearly drowned a woman he was playing with because he got too excited to let her return to shore and she almost got reverse baptized. Sheesh. See that? Duality. So yeah, I don't hate dolphins. I don't hate any animal. I'm not fully bending the knee. I'm gonna still get my jokes off when I can. But moral of the story, manatees are the most wholesome creatures alive. And last year, one named Hugh passed tense after a bigger male confused him for a mate and literally ripped him a new one. The worst oh part- Oh my gosh. 
it was his brother. If what? they can do that, how did he, how did he get confused? But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you drink water, hug your mother, don't hug a dolphin unless you're prepared to end up like Hank. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What happened to Hank Hill? He got touched by a dolphin? Damn, bro. After this video, I have no idea how I feel about dolphins. I gotta do some more research. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.